that you're gonna have to do now is you have to stop the people pleasing spirit. You, 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 you're going to have to, if you want your book to be successful, you're going to have to get out from behind the computers. Whether that means going live, whether that means doing an event, whether that means going to interviews, going to speaking engagements. So you have to start thinking about that now. While you're in the beginning process of your book, how do you plan to reach your audience? What methods are you going to use? Elijah says, you've changed the price of your book to $19.99. How do you, did you handle people asking you, oh, you increased the price? Has that happened to you? And this is where Elijah, this is why I was saying, y'all got to get, get out of people pleasing. You can price your book, you can change, you can price your book or whatever you want to price it. If you want to change the price one day and then change it to something else, you can do that. <laughs> you own it. You wrote it. You can do whatever you want to do with your book. Because this is my thing. Especially when it comes to women, we spend money on hair. Y'all, these braids cost $125. <laughs> 125 We spend money on shoes. These shoes cost $100. 225 between the hair and the shoes, not to mention the outfit. The bag, $200 coat, leather coach bag, two, $300. Y'all, people spend money on what they want. So price your book according. People spend money. They do. So don't ever think that people won't buy it. You know, don't ever think that you're not really because you are. I just attended Jasmine Lomax writing workshop, and can I tell you, she just unlocked my destiny. It was awesome. I learned several marketing strategies as well as tips to keep my book alive. I got a lot of great tips for strategies on writing my book and for my business as well. So thank you so much, Jasmine. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Thanks, Jasmine. Love you.